So if you know you run around like, okay, well, bam, maybe this girl is somebody special, and you know I got all this stuff and I want to share it with her. Okay, cool, share it. Just don't be mad if it don't work out and she want to take it all. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Don't be mad if you know she want to take a little bit more than you was really in the shell. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, man. Uh, I, this is why I don't promote sharing collections. That's like, man, like, I don't even think couples should share bank accounts. Because, you know, shit go bad and now you, you look up and your bank account and got drained. <laughs> you you share it. <laughs> that was like, keep yours on keep yours on your, your end and, and let her keep hers on her end. And, and you guys can share experiences with each other. Just don't share property. You understand? Sharing property is like possession is nine tenths of the law. <laughs> 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 So, you know, what's going on there, everybody in uh, YouTube land? I had to welcome y'all back to the game room. I am Professor Joe Casey. Uh, I didn't go to Siege. I thought about it. Didn't go, man. I really wanted to go, though. Really wanted to go. I, I'm pretty sure Siege was, was probably decent. I got to see. I want to see some videos from Siege this year. Uh, I want to see some videos from Siege. Uh, but, 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 it, 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 it's some other, it's some other, um, it's some other things that I done prepared to go to. So you guys can expect the videos on those to come through real soon. Uh, shout out the Lightsaber Samurai. You know, um, he did a stream the other day, man. Pretty good stream, man. Dude say he got his, he, he, he got that thing set up like he wanted to get set up. So, you know, we're going to see uh, more content coming from him. Shout out to Got Cognac. Them boys, they hooked up and they put some heat together. So, you know, uh, we got that that we can look forward to. Um, but today, I, I want to talk to you guys about something. I want to talk to you guys about something that somebody hit me to. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how. I'm trying to put this in a way. <laughs> I'm trying to be po politically correct. I don't, I don't even know if that's the right word. But I'm trying to, you know, put this thing on GP. Because, uh, you know, shout out to the few people. <laughs> the few people who are on this video game channel who actually uh, support me on the dating coach channel for the patreon now if you if you're not into colorful content if you're not looking for relationship advice then don't go over there the video game patreon is coming i'm gonna try to bring it to you guys i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to start production in september right now we're getting we're getting content up we're getting content up i'm, I'm trying to get at least 10 shows ready i want to have 10 shows ready by september so we don't never miss a beat we don't never miss a weekend every weekend you can tune in and guarantee that you're gonna get you a nice production of uh what you know what i really want to show on youtube but i'm probably not showing on youtube and it's not going to be nothing vulgar it's not going to be oh no man if i show this on youtube or, you know i get blacklisted no it's not gonna be none of that. it's just gonna be uh awesome content it's gonna be upscale to you know uh Show my appreciation for anybody who says, hey, you know what? I like this guy, Professor Joe Casey, enough to support him. So it, that, that's what that's what the Patreon is, is literally going to be for. Same thing with, with the Dating Code channel, man. You, you, get, you get information, knowledge, and, and advice on, on, on real life living that I'm just not going to put on YouTube. You know what I mean? It just, nah. It, it, it wouldn't feel right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be felt. But, you know, a Patreon asked me, like, go Casey. You know, I got this girl I'm jigging with, man, and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, man, I see you say you're going to go to sea. Did you go to sea? Did you, did you meet Retro Rivals? And, you know, I put him on Retro Rivals. And, uh, you know, he was also asking me about would it be smart for him and this girl that he deal with because she liked the game and he liked the game. Will it be smart for them to start a collection together? Or will it be smart for him to let her come in his world and let her share his collection? So... <laughs> That's why I say this is gonna be a tough. This is gonna be a tough video, man. Cause I gotta answer this thing truthfully. I gotta answer this thing truthfully, and uh, my answer to that is, man, hey, don't share nothing with a woman you ain't prepared to lose. 
So if, if you prepared to lose it fully, then okay, share it with them. You know? It's cause cause what's yours is hers and what's hers is hers. I'm 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 gonna repeat that again, man. Anytime somebody has a majority stake in something. And they decide this is not just for man and woman, this is for woman and man too. This is why I teach Machism. I also I teach simpism, I teach trickology, I teach the Romanizing, I teach Machism, and you know, I, I I expound on other levels of the game that I don't participate in. But I teach all seven levels. So if uh you're gonna share something with somebody and you happen to be a majority owner of what you're sharing, you have to be prepared to lose that before you share it. So this is why you shouldn't really shut nothing with nobody. You can let somebody come over and experience it. Okay, shot, you come over, you can play the games and, and blah, 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 blah. I let females do that all the time. But as far as you saying, you're going to add to my collection and this is our collection? Nah, I ain't doing none of that goofy shit like that, though. Because inevitably, you know, uh, I, I don't even want to say inevitably. Everybody say this, this, is, this is a touchy subject, you know. <laughs> Like, and there's a lot of guys on YouTube that's do it, man. You know, you got uh, JRPG Life, shout out to them. You got Retro Rivals, I already spoke on them. Uh, Mr. Right Way and his wife. Uh, shoot, who else? Uh, uh, Gaming Off The Grid. I mean, these are the people I follow, man. It's a billion people on YouTube. I don't know all these damn people, man. It's a billion people on YouTube that do this. But I can guarantee you, you're going to also find a billion horror stories of people who who did it and then when it was time for, for them to go their separate ways then you know now it's like okay what are we gonna do with these games what are we gonna do with oh this is mine or this yours this is not. so it's like no keep your shit over there i keep my shit over here and it's cool that we we both like like this hobby but nah we can't blend it we can't blend it because now you know <laughs> you can add 20 percent to something and end up walking away with a hundred percent of it. I end up walking away with eighty percent of it. You know, and, and and nah, you just so. I think that's too messy. I think that's too messy. You know what I mean? Um, I probably could have answered this in Patreon, but it, it, this wasn't fit for that Patreon channel, so I couldn't answer it in Patreon. <laughs> Maybe when I start the video game channel, I could take you know more video game related questions and answer them over there. And, you know, uh, try to put a video production behind it to make the visuals just as interesting as the words that's coming out of my mouth. But no, bro, don't, nah, man. I don't give a damn. Like, it's cool that you don't find you a chick that like games. You know what I mean? That's that's what's up, bro. That's that's like the game of dream. And I definitely appreciate you for supporting me on the Patreon, on the free game show. And, you know, I, I hope to see you also supporting me when I start this video game channel. But nah, man, don't, 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 nah, man. You shouldn't even, you know what I mean? Like, you should tell her, okay, Shadi, you can come experience it. But as far as, like, that shouldn't even have been a part of y'all conversation. I don't even know how in the hell, you know, that even came up. Like, as far as y'all coming together and co collecting video games, and, you know, sharing sharing collections. That's goofy stuff, bro. Now, I'm doing that. I don't give a damn. You can be with it, bro, 20 years. What's yours is yours, and what's mine is mine. We don't share nothing. Only thing we share is the energy that we bring together when we come together. But as far as what we had before we got here, that's what we got to leave with. If we want to leave with our sanity. <laughs> you know? Y'all boy be, man. Y'all be all. I mean, I understand, though. I understand, though. Because that, that's what we taught. We taught that, hey, man, what's good is all this stuff and I don't got nobody to share with. Man, I got I to gotta have somebody to share with. If you, if you got all this stuff and you want to share with somebody... Then maybe that's some that's that's stuff that you don't need. If you feel like you gotta build up a, a bunch of stuff just so you can have something, that's stuff you don't need because if it's stuff that you got for you, then you don't need to share with nobody. It's 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 for you. Oh man, all this stuff, all this money, and all this these houses and these cars. That's what, that's what rich people be saying. You see all this crap and all these stupid movies. They be like, man, it, it don't mean nothing if I ain't got nobody. Then why in the hell did you get it? Maybe it, it, you shouldn't have amassed all. Maybe you should have spent your life doing something else that would have been more pleasurable just for you. If somebody come along and you can build on something, okay, that's cool. But you don't just get stuff just so you can share share with people. That's that's not how I think. That's not how I move. Man. Everything I got. I appreciate it. I enjoy it just fine. I enjoy it just fine. People be like, hey man, you know, I don't I don't even look at like, okay, I need to share this shit with nobody. 
it's mine. So if you know you run around like, okay, well, bam, maybe this girl is somebody special, and you know I got all this stuff and I want to share it with her. Okay, cool, share it. Just don't be mad if it don't work out and she want to take it all. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Don't be mad if you know she want to take a little bit more than you was really in the shell. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, man. Uh, I, this is why I don't promote sharing collections. That's like, man, like, I don't even think couples should share bank accounts. Because, you know, shit go bad and now you, you look up and your bank account and got drained. <laughs> you you share it. <laughs> I was like, keep yours on keep yours on your, your end and, and let her keep hers on her end. And, and you guys can share experiences with each other. Just don't share property. You understand? Sharing property is like possession is nine tenths of the law. You got you got squatters all over the world is screwing people out their damn money right now. You know, people share it. You when you, when you rent your house out, even though you 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 rent it out for some money, you're sharing your property. It's certain it's certain risks, it's certain chances you take when you rent your shit out. You got to be open to all that, man. It, it's, you know, so I'm just saying like, I just I would just I would think twice about that. Before taking the relationship to that level And using What you amassed as a video game collector As something to entice somebody In the relationship I think that's lame anyway I like that. That's kind of like using money To entice a woman to you know do I mean but even though you know that That's more understandable That's more understandable Because you could just throw the money off And get the money back You know uh, you, I guess you could do the same with your collection too Maybe I'm talking in circles Maybe, maybe I'm talking in circles. I don't know, but guess what, man? I don't care, man. <laughs> this right, this. <laughs> you know, I don't care. At the end of the day, man. You know, read my book Trickology if you want to know how I really feel about the trick. But you know, if you gotta share something, if I was to share, I I'll share a digital library with a bit. I'd be like, All right, you can, you want you want my game pass? You you want you want access to the digital? You know, you can take that with you wherever you want to go. You can take the code, you know, the email and, and, and uh, you know, the PlayStation um, password. But, nah, uh, when it comes to physical property, nah, man. Possession nine-tenths of the law, man. You know, so, hey, man, uh, hopefully this was interesting. Not only you, but to everybody who, uh, you know, listen to this show. Uh, you want to know, you want to go a little deeper? You know, inbox me on the Patreon and, and we'll chop it up. But uh, let me go ahead and get up out of here, man. Y'all be cool. I'm going to go case. I'll holler at you.